Practice, practice, practice. Before the time comes when you want to sell some of your shares, prepare yourself. Make an exit plan. I don't care if you're holding until it's seven digits a share or slowly selling at different levels. Have a plan. Make your decisions now and take as much of the emotions out of it. When the price is going crazy and you're picturing yourself rich, make it a business decision now. Emotional investors are broke investors. That's a really good piece of advice to all investors out there. Do not trade with your emotions. Have a plan in place, have a strategy in place, and stick to it. Look, the MOAS isn't going to take just a few hours or even days. Practice selling now. This doesn't mean to sell your AMC or APE. It means to have a plan in place. Look at the different options when it comes to selling stock, like limit orders or market orders, etc. What happens if things go crazy? Are you going to be ready? Look, the MOAS isn't going to take just a few hours or even days. Not many of us are going to leave our phones, laptops, houses, whatever, while it's going on. We're just going to stare at the screen, screaming and laughing the whole time. You still need a plan and you need backup plans on top of that. Now others will chime in with some other good advice. But guys, remember, buy HODL and have a plan. Just a friendly reminder, you can sell it at $10 and then be forced to buy it back at $20, $200, or $2 million. There's no theoretical limit on how high a stock can go. The first way to avoid getting squeezed is to simply avoid shorting. Let's talk a little bit about short selling and how dangerous it can be. So all those short sellers that open shorts against AMC trying to make a quick buck. It might seem like a good idea in the short term, but if the trend rapidly turns in one day, pre-market AMC is up to $40 per share, let's say, and then rampantly goes to $50, $60, $100 dollars per share. What do you think that's going to do for the rest of the market? It's going to cause a buying frenzy. And the short sellers are going to see their account go more and more into the negative until just like this says right here, you could see a $200 share or a $2 million share. There is no theoretical limit on how high a stock can go, which means there's no theoretical limit on how much a short seller could lose.